All right, welcome. So I'm going to attempt to see if I can get Altiris 8.5 to install. So I was told it was released today. Uh, yesterday I was told it would be released tomorrow. I've emailed my support guy and said I don't see it. What time should it be available? He said you need to do it from within sim, which is kind of stupid. I'm sorry. It really is because if it's a fresh install, which I have here, I don't have sim. So I downloaded their version of sim, 8.1 build 621 we're gonna go ahead and install it so all I've gotten to is I double clicked it let it do its thing so let's go through next accept all right choose default so while that's quickly installing my environment and all kinds of stuff I have my SQL server uh, Windows 2012 server 2012 will not may will install but it, um, this will not install on that one of the problems I had. It's my Windows 10 test box. All right, so we have everything. We have a separate SQL box, our Altiris box, and a client machine to play around with. All right, so let's see what we get. We should get a notification when this comes up that there's a newer version. All right, yep, we got the current operating system is not supported for installation. That was the problem I had before. Here we go, 8.5, 30.25. And upgrade now. Yay! That's nice. Not sure what that's all about. We'll accept the license and hit next. Begin install. Alright. So I'm also going to Chicago next month, and that will be the technical hands on. So I'm hoping to get some stuff out of it, and hopefully I can. Come back with a couple other cool videos that may uh, show some new features, some new things that I'm looking to get out of it. We shall see. Okay, what do we have here? Look at that. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second. All right, so I paused it because I want to take a screenshot. All right, so I have client management suite. I don't have asset management. I don't have the full IT management suite. I don't have server management suite. Okay, let's go ahead, go next, and we'll go ahead and install, we'll just install them all. Let's see, to the C drive, IT analytics, <clears throat> that's something I haven't played with yet, was IT analytics, I did some research on it, it's something I've been wanting to do, looks like it's going to install it for us. Okay, audio should hopefully be back. Um, my son uses my computer to game and wireless headset, nice uh, Logitech, I think, uh, what do we got here? This headset is great, well there's my keyboard, I love this keyboard, but the headset should be here as well. There we go. So it's a Logitech G930 I believe, nice crisp clear wireless, you gotta plug it in every now and then. My son didn't, so anyway. So I don't know if it came over in a video, but IT analytics. I don't believe it installed previously by default. I did want to play around with it this round. And it looks like it's going to install for us. That's nice. All right, so running install readiness check. This is always the fun part. What do we need? What needs to be installed? Supposedly, we don't need Silverlight. All right, what do we have? Did I do dual processor? Bah! did one crud 16 gig of RAM now I'll have to do more processors all right look at that silver light 5 why is silver light in the list okay I'm gonna pause you again because for work I want to take some screenshots oh don't can I get this thing go wider it fit a little bit more on the screen all right oh uh, yeah look at that. now it's recommended multi CPU all right, I'll Alright, so let's go through this list. One of the things I really do like that they did, stuff like this, enable, yes. It just makes it easier than having to do it, and they give you the link to download stuff. I saw a silver light in the list. Sorry if you could hear me drinking a little bit. Coffee? It's too early for a nice ice cold beverage. Well, not really too early, but... Alright. So I'm working from home, and this is what I love doing, so throwing this together. 
All right, from time to time, I'm going to pause the video so that way you don't have to have the real life experience of the next couple hours. So once this gets back, I will unpause. Okay, we're back. Uh, switch monitors over to my work laptop, so that's why I did that. All right, so click to automatically install configure the required IIS roles. All right, web server ASP, IS6 compatibility, yes. Now I've gone in here, documented the settings, so I'll compare them later. All right, so while that's going, once again, please hold. Okay, welcome back. Let's uh, click how to install Silverlight. Of course, we're on a server, so we're going to have to play around with the settings, most likely. Close. All right. We should try using Edge, because Edge is just awesome. All right. It's curious I do not allow things to be downloaded. Internet options. I forget where this is at. Please bear with me. Let's see. Oh, first of all, I don't like that. I think it's here. Download should be down. File download. Enable. Say OK here. We all disable protected mode. All right. Look at that. Save. All right, it's running a security scan. Run. Make Bing my search page. No, MSN, no. All right, while well, that's going, what's next? Okay, so it still requires some of the other things it's required before. That will leave the update is fine. Hey, get back here. Okay. Yeah, running the readiness check again, huh? Well, since I got this launched. Come on. Come on, Mr. Readiness Check. Let's go. I'm a very impatient person. Alright, it didn't download, so I thought, because I closed out the page, so please hold till readiness check comes back. Alright, next up, port viewer. Alright, run. Next, I have red. Alright, so while that's going, let's close this out, finish. Once again, this is going to, I wonder if we can right click and say open a new window and get all these things downloaded. Now, this is in my home test lab, so I can always throw them on a thumb drive and have them available easier for other environments like my dev at work, I have dev test and prod. Okay. We just did the report viewer. Ah, nope, if you right click, it still does this. I'll show this message again. Alright, add Oracle. Excuse me. Close, close. Must close. Must accept. Now, one of the other things I've noticed I've done previously, pay attention. Java X86. Don't just down download 64 bit, because you know that's what your OS is. So we don't want the TG, we want X86 offline installer, so we'll take this guy. You must agree. I did agree. Did I not? Uh, I accept. Offline. Agree to the OTN license term. Oh, cookie. Oh, and JavaScript enabled. Go figure. Really? Get back in there. It's the tough part about doing this on here. It's uh internet options. Actually let's do something else. 
hit the alt key, let's view, toolbars, status bar, eh. Okay, let's, uh, internet options, Oracle, Chris Security, Trusted, Sites. Oracle.com is in here. Let's um, custom level. Enable, enable. Enable, enable. Enable. Look, I'm just looking for a prompt. Of course, this is a lab. That's why I'm doing this, and I don't care. I am trying to do prompt when I can. All right, downloads, enable, font, enable, enable, miscellaneous. Oh, domains, I'll drag. That's cool, we'll do that. Browse the same window. Prompt, enable prompt. do that. Alright. Let's see if this did anything. Oh, accept. Thank you for accepting. Once again. Alright. Fine. Screw it. Um, I don't think you can copy and paste between these. Let's see if we can. Nope. Ah, oh, Bing. Can't stand Bing. All right. That's development kit. I don't want the development. That's why it's nice that they gave us the link. Um, server, JRE, download. Aha! Cool. Here we go. Accept. We will throw this here. Save as. Software. We'll just start right here. Okay. Good to go with that. We'll come back here. Close this. our next next piece we need sorry it's been raining for so long my throat's all raspy I hope I'm not getting sick all right the job is getting there is that Java still not detected which could it's installing all right that's done let's run this guy Next, up next, install. That was ADOMD.net. Okay, 
Now, some of these is just recommended, okay, for IT analytics. I said I want to do IT analytics. So we're going to do this. I see the next one is CPU, SQL. So there's nothing we need to worry about there. I believe I'm going to have to enable something here to download from, which is fine. All right. Say thank you for downloading. We didn't download, so let's go back. Internet options, security, trusted sites. Um, I believe it's not this, but let's do this anyway. Close. Okay. Go back. Download. Okay. It's not the Ajax or that one or that one. I don't think it's that one. It might be. Okay, make sure the line's not that one. Okay, close, close. Add. Close, close. Really? Won't even open up the install instructions. Alright. We're going to do this the same way I did the other one. Just do it on another machine. Okay. Let's put this up here. Um, slash in US downloads down confirmation dot ASPX ID equals fifty one twenty four. Wow, okay. Save as back out here save <clears throat> so with a lab it is a pain in the butt to go back and forth but it works that's right here All right, get this going. Next, next readiness check will actually knock a few things out, which is nice. All right, I, I don't think I, I don't think a lot of times. Don't think I enabled. Where is it? Not those. I don't think I enabled hot swap a CPU. Let's take a look. Would be nice to get it to not bark at us about the processor without having to shut down. Come on. Alright, so that's that. Multi core SQL server is going to be remote. Access database. We're pretty much almost done. We'll do ITMS resource kit. Oh, another Microsoft one that may not go for us. Ah, select the language. Okay, so that's good. Hopefully this works. Come on. Keep thinking about it. Alright, CPU. It's got an exclamation point. Why? Ah. Yeah, I have vCenter running. Still have to undo that. Let's, uh, well, let us save us. I do have hot swap enabled. Sweet. All right, so it appears 
we're going to have to going to go, I think it was this one, ah, it just goes, launches right there, I fine, alright, and again, Microsoft.com, EN, US download, Details.aspx ID equals thirteen two fifty five English. Which one did it say? Hmm. It doesn't say thirty two or sixty four. So I'm going to gamble. Oh, I'll just download them both. Okay. install the 64-bit one. We'll let the, ins the install readiness see if it still sa still says that it needs it. If it does, then I know for future I only need the 32. Okay. Now, in my lab I use C drive, but typically we use like an E drive. Just use another drive. You want your OS to be separate. Just like the SQL Server, I have one drive set up. It's all virtual. I don't have logs and you know the database I don't have it set up even correctly for that and it runs good enough it runs for what I need all right I do know we need this and then we can run the readiness check okay download files oh I can't click it Let's see if they're here Uh, looks like all different individuals. Stuff management studio. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Sweet. Was that it? I didn't get it. All right, whatever. We'll do install readiness check. And we will see. So I'm going to pause this. For a minute while it does its thing okay so we're looking good hi it doesn't seem like it really took my cpu even though i did set it which is fine we know we'll do that later it's a recommendation it only shows one here that's fine okay but as we notice all that's left now is sql server the cpu and installation upgrade migration checklist i typically don't do anything with these what do we got here? Installation checklist. Open a new tab and we'll click this one. See what we get. Of course they're blank. Whatever. Alright. Like I said, I never usually bother with them. Okay, but we can continue. So next. Okay, account credentials. Test lab dot local Alteris. Okay, default website, self assigned, fully qualified the name. For your email, we're not gonna do that. I was not gonna click OK to make fun changes. Appropriate pool. Aha. Was I supposed to check that? I don't know. Alright, whatever. Let them do it. Okay. SQL Server. Let's see if I can get this right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 
SQL.testLab. Okay, let's give that a shot. Okay, let's see if it'll take. I may not have the Altiris account on the SQL server. So while that's going, let's bring up the Windows 10 box. Have SQL. I thought I installed it. Okay. Maybe not, I just didn't get that far. All right, so while that's going, let's go to the SQL Server. Did I not install SQL? Okay, please hold while I confirm my SQL. All right, so at work I set up a CMS a server for CMS and SQL and also a Windows 10 UEFI boot test box. So I'm going to take a moment and install SQL. I'll be back. And even though we're installing SQL and whatnot, you see down here 468 meg of 1.7 gig copied. Another 18 minutes anyway, so I'll be back. And off we go, installing. Alright, so my ADHD, which has not been proven, was kicked in. So at work, I got all prepped for 8.5. At home, I knew I had most of it. I just didn't get to the rest of it last night. I, now I know where I'm at. So SQL's installed. SQL.testlab.local. Create new database. All of our installation files are ready, which is nice. We'll hit next. And Windows Authentication. We are logged in with, should be Altiris. Yep, there we go. There we go, it actually went. So, let's see what we got here. Products to be installed. All right, I'm gonna screenshot all this stuff again. Like I said, I was saving this for tomorrow's, well, not tomorrow, but for work. Save. Products one. So I can go over all this another time. No. Ah, don't want that in there. A little bit of overlap, but that's fine. Save. Products 2. Alright, so now we're back on track. Begin installation. Now, of course, this is going to take forever. So, we're going to let this run. And I'm not going to have you sit here and watch every screen. Um, looks like some of these are the typical. I wonder if any new features will show up here, but don't know. All right. So I'm going to let it go, and we will be back. Still going. So we're currently configuring now. 62 of 131 tasks. Configure deployment. So down here I did see IT analytics, which we expected. I also saw workflow down there. Now that's something else I want to do and check out because I know nothing about. And I know there's some really cool stuff with IT analytics and workflow and yeah. You know, I'm the only one doing all this stuff and I can only do so much with daily tasks and learn other things. So alright, I'll be back when this is a little further along. Alright, and we are back. So here we are. I never, I save these, I have no idea why, I never use it, but anyway, we'll just throw a password on it, we'll save it, come on, click next, there we go, alright, let's 
go ahead. Licenses. Um, we have 30 day trial. Leave add on. Next. Launch it. Run migrate. Don't need a migration window. But let's go ahead and launch it. Make sure we got a connection. Make sure things seem like it's going. So, hmm. Should have taken it. Uh. Is it going to work? Let's see. Add. Close. Hey, we have the console. It'll say yes. Now, of course, this is server. Who knows what it's going to do? So we're going to let that finish. While that's there, let's jump over here. Uh, my son still has uh, Rainbow Six up. All right, so I have my Windows 10 box. I have SQL here. Ah, server's in there. There we go. There we go. So that's looking good already. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is Edge browser. videos up. Um, let's take a look at what the Altiris 8.5. Alright. Okay. Close that. We'll close this. Minimize. Yeah, that was last 4th of July. Uh, this corner is three feet in the water. I broke. Alright, so anyway, let's get back to this. Altiris. A five dot test. Oh, got two keyboards. There's a five dot test lab dot local Altiris. Move this keyboard so I can stop doing that for a minute. Okay, so we're in. Of course, I need silver. Ah, this might be the problem I had before with. All right. All right. Let's do this instead. If we go here, may actually fix part of our problem of the silver light because I think Edge doesn't use it. Come on, let's go. You bum. It's trying. not going. Okay. Let's go here. All right, let's do internet options, security, trusted items. another shot come on okay so we're back uh, it was a little bit me um, I'm added I added the server to my trusted sites and tweak some settings I'm not sure quite which ones they are usually I like showing you all of that but I'm currently logged in 
to my Windows 10 box. I'm logged in as Altiris, which is the account that installed it. So, of course, Altiris is right here. So, but here we go. So, it's up and running. We got reports. Manage computers. So, there's a lot to do. A lot to go next. Um, I guess, uh, there we go. At once, I thought there was no silver light. <coughs> Excuse me. Where is my snipping tool? No. So that's fun. They say you don't need it. Well, if you don't need it, why do I have that already? Take those off. I can't believe. Um, but yeah, just poke around and you'll see. So I guess I'll, what I'll do next is um, I'll go through a video on enabling agents, getting this Windows 10 box deployed and set up. So what we'll do is we'll do a AD import, whatnot, see if everything can roll the way it normally should. So, all right, thank you very much. And this was the intro to 8.5. Let's take a look here. Here you go, 8.5, 3073. Thank you.